Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can get more views as well as grow your YouTube channel using the YouTube content and keyword research tool. Now, if you're someone who has been looking for profitable content ideas as well as keywords to kind of leverage on, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly how to do that. Now, if you're interested, stick around and let's get right into this video. <laughs> Hey loves, and again, welcome back. My name is Kelechi Mbemana, just in case you are seeing me for the first time. If you're seeing me for the first time, welcome. If you're not, if you're a returning subscriber, hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, like I previously said, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly how to research for content ideas that are not only profitable, but are guaranteed to help you grow your YouTube channel. Now, if you're someone who has been struggling with coming up with content ideas, knowing exactly what your audience wants to watch, just knowing exactly what to create that wouldn't waste your time, in this video, I'm going to be walking you guys through the entire process step by step. Now, a couple of weeks, YouTube rolled out a new feature, a new tool that you can use in, you know, researching for content, knowing exactly what your audience are watching, and what they are looking for. And in this video, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be walking you guys through that new tool and we're just going to be exploring it and learning at the same time now if you're interested sit back relax get your pen viral open your laptop and let's get right into this video amazing now i've definitely missed creating this type of you know growth strategy tips and tricks youtube content and i definitely love it because one thing's for sure is that i also learn from it at the same time now again um to get started with this video i'm just going to open up the tab on my laptop so that we can kind of work together at the same time if that makes sense so i currently have my youtube um studio creator studio on open right now amazing so if you open up your youtube studio your creator studio right here um just go over to your analytics right um there's a research tab that youtube just rolled out i feel like this is amazing now typically if you guys have been following me you know that i i love using tubebuddy i still use tubebuddy but this is another amazing streamlined um tool tab that you can use in doing your own research it is a lot easier compared to TubeBuddy. It's straightforward and it's also beginner friendly. You only need to know, I, I think, about two, three things and you are good and set to go. Now I'm going to open up my research tab and this is what it looks like. It is not scary. It is beginner friendly and I feel like it is just self-explanatory at the same time. Now, if you guys go over here, if you want to learn more about this tool, you can click on learn more and it will take you right to this page where you can obviously like read on it. But I'm going to be explaining all of this right now to you so that you can understand this as well as implement this on your own channel, okay? So back to this. Now, something that I love about this tool is that this tool is very current because it only shows you results within the last 28 days. So whatever results that have been generated have been generated based on the last 28 days. So it's very current, it's very trendy, and it's just going to be perfect if you're someone who wants to stay current and also capture the interest of your audience. Now here, as you guys can see, we have three tabs. We have the searches across YouTube, your viewer searches and save. Now these two are gonna be amazing when it comes to doing your own basic research. Okay, so when it comes to searches across YouTube, now this is more generic because this generates results based on what is being searched across YouTube. Now, if you have a content idea, a keyword, a term, you can easily type that out and whatever results you get is going to be based on what has been searched across YouTube. Now, this is amazing. So for instance, if you are someone who is into, let's say you are maybe like me, you're into production, beauty, you're into creating YouTube strategy tips, I'm going to probably write how to film YouTube videos. Now with this, I can easily enter this, search for this and see what 
audience they see what people see the terms they are using see the words they are using look at exactly what people are looking for and are searching for on youtube so with this you can easily not just get ideas but you can actually get your own content idea and topic at the same time and these ones are guaranteed to get you views because these are actually what people are searching for or have searched for within the last 28 days so we can see that um with this um with the results you also get you know similar topics we can see how to film youtube videos on an iphone that could potentially be a content idea for me because this is similar to what i create so i could kind of create a content related to this or create an exact content like this and put it out which i think i'm going to do so now we can also see the search volume on youtube this has a medium search volume personally for me i like to go between high and medium just because i know that when it comes to high it means that people are highly searching for this term or this keyword or this phrase whatever it is it means that it is highly searched for with that you're guaranteed to get more views but again because i like this first content idea i'm going to click on this button right here this is the save button and it's going to save at the last tab over here let me just click on it so it's saved at this point now if in the future i want to create content i could do my research save a couple of results and later on when i'm ready to script them out and plan them out i could go over to my saved bar save tab right here and look at this it already saved i just have to pick you know the topic and kind of work with that okay so with this i'm i know that this is going to be a profitable content for me to work with and it's going to generate views and also increase the growth of my youtube channel so i'm going to leave this over here because this is definitely a topic i'm going to definitely film because i do have a similar content on this however i only created this kind of content using my android phone so i might as well do the same thing using an iphone so yeah and again this might not necessarily be the final topic you can always you know leverage on this build on this work on this adjust it a little bit tweak it a little bit to get the final results that's what you can do with these searches across youtube channel i can also search for let me think of another content idea let me say makeup transformation right amazing so makeup transformation is actually high when it comes to like search volume so i can also save that boy to girl makeup transformation male to female makeup transformation i'm going to also save all this makeup transformation from ugly to pretty the search volume is high so i'm going to save that because it's actually it's, it's a topic that i can you know create <laughs> uh let's look for more makeup transformation tiktok not bad TikTok makeup transformation, crazy makeup transformation. Now these are contents that people are searching for or have searched for within the last 28 days. So I know that these topics are going to be amazing. So um, that's for this on this tab. Now the second tab next to that is your viewers searches. Now this is amazing. If you want to know exactly what your community, what your viewers are searching for, what they are looking for, the search term they've used, what they are interested in, what their problems are. With this, you can then create a solution for your audience, your community, without even asking, because you're seeing the back end of everything that they are putting into YouTube. So with this, you guys can see that what my viewers are searching for and how they found me um, this is it basically how to edit videos for YouTube. That's one. I don't think I have a video like this an updated video like this I'm gonna save this right here um, Let's see how to start a YouTube channel. I don't have an updated video. So I'm gonna save that as well um, How to make thumbnails. I do have a video like this So I'm gonna save that as well how to make YouTube videos save that now, I don't know if you guys can see this, right? This right here is a content gap. Now, what a content gap basically means is that I'm going to also show you here. When it comes to this side, you can also streamline or filter out your results based on content gaps. Let me put this on as well as the geography, geographical location of your audience. So if I want to streamline this to people in the U.S., India, Australia, and I can easily click on that, but I'm not going to be doing that because I, I, I want to be able to appeal to all of my audience 
if regardless of what, whatever geographical location they are based in so i'm going to click on let's move over to content gap because with content gap this shows more or less like opportunities this is like what is missing in your community this is what people are searching for and what is not available so with this youtube is giving you like hints hey your, your, your audience are looking for this but it's not available in the youtube um a database so this is what you can actually create because it's similar to what you've been creating and it's similar to what your audience are looking for so these are the content gaps so now that we've seen this i'm going to go back to all searches i want to see what you guys have been searching for and i can see that you're searching for you know how to make a youtube video let me save this right here how to make a youtube intro save this as well because it's easy how to make a thumbnail also save this oh you're also searching for the sony zv1 luckily for me i have the sony zv1 so it means that you guys are possibly interested in this camera and its features and you know you probably want to know if it's worth it or you want to know what it looks like so i'm going to write that down and maybe do another series related to this camera maybe talk about my settings how i use this to vlog my vlog setup you know what it looks like and all of that so i'm gonna just save that how to start up a youtube channel yes i like that idea i noticed that the search volume for these are all high it means that a lot of people are searching for this term so i'm just going to save that best camera for youtube wow youtube setup youtube studio setup yeah my first youtube this is actually a content gap yeah so content gap you can see that i'm just going to click on this question this question mark right here and you can see that it's a way of measuring what your viewers are searching for and the results they find so obviously we know that there is something missing in what they are searching for and what they found um most likely they haven't found the exact thing they are looking for so this kind of gives you a hint into what you can now create for your audience and you can see that this happens when um, viewers cannot find any results for their searches viewers can't find the exact match viewers cannot find um, relevant videos um, that are up to date or uh, these are opportunities that you can leverage on when it comes to um, generating content ideas also generating keywords at the same time because you can actually use these keywords to optimize your youtube content as well as video i'm gonna save most of all this and yeah so basically i kind of know what you guys are searching for and it's related to like starting off on starting up on youtube as well as you know setting up starting up setting up and growing at the same time so now that I, I've done like my basic research, I've searched across YouTube, I've generated some content ideas, I've also searched across what my audience are looking for, or what my viewers are looking for, and I've saved some ideas, some content topics. Um, this is where I have all of them saved up right here. So I have tons, I Have at this point I have at least like i want to see i have at least 30 video ideas so if you're someone who is has run out of content ideas this would kind of refresh your brain give you more inspiration and more insights as to what you need to be creating and as to what your your audience and your viewers want to watch on your channel so again whatever topics you are interested in or whatever niche you are in whether it is food um let me look for let me look for how to lose weight how to lose weight how to lose weight fat exercises to lose weight at home diet plan for losing weight fast how to lose weight dance workout so these are content ideas that can relate to my current lifestyle so I'm gonna save this and you know work with it basically now this is what i like to call like a primary research this is quite basic with getting out like content ideas now if you want to kind of take this like the next level you want to go secondary with this you can also research these keywords on youtube to see the results that you're going to generate you want to see if the videos or the topic have a lot of um, views 
you want to see you know what is available what's the quality like can your own quality be better can you improve on it what is missing what did they put in their video that you can add to create like an added value for your viewers how can you stand out at the same time so that is basically what i would do now that i have some content ideas what i would do next would typically be like okay pick one idea out and then we search it across youtube i'll go on youtube and search for sunny zb1 vlogging and see what other creatives other creators have been creating and then see how i can put my own twist to it to make you guys you know satisfied if that makes sense make you guys not only watch it not only click on it but also satisfied i want you guys to be able to know what you're searching for search for it and then be satisfied with the results that i've created so that way i know that my contents are adding value at the same time so yeah this is basically how you can you know increase your views on youtube because now you know exactly what people are searching for you know exactly what people on youtube are searching for and you can create content around that in order to get more views and if you get more views it means you're most likely going to get more viewers more subscribers and then you're going to indirectly grow your youtube channel so it's like a step-by-step -step process um it's all about first of all creating quality content in order to create quality content you have to meet the needs of your audience and your viewers so yeah these are deliberate actions that you have to implement if you are serious about taking your youtube channel to the next level and um, this is the basics to it you have to do this it's so important um you can also opt for other research tools and extensions like me personally i love using tubebuddy um, because it's more in-depth with the research. If you guys want to know how I use TubeBuddy or any of this, let me also know. I'll also share with you guys my own um, strategy to it. But I just feel like showing you guys this because now this is free. It's on YouTube, so you know that it is guaranteed and it's super easy. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Um, this is how you can get started with, you know, creating content that are profitable in terms of views and in terms of youtube growth so yeah if you guys are new here feel free to check out my other videos i love creating this kind of content to help myself and to also help you grow at the same time so again if you're new here i have an entire playlist when it comes to like starting up a youtube channel growing filming production i will leave them up here and also i'll leave the playlist right here so feel free to check them out, watch, enjoy, and yeah, subscribe. It is totally free, and I'll definitely see you guys in one of these videos, okay? So yeah, let's go.